Hey everyone, I'm Calvin with Southern Country Living and I hope that everyone is having a great day. I hope you're getting ready for 4th of July. For us, we're going to be making a patriotic jello poke cake. And this is a recipe that Marie found and she said that she thought it looked really good and wanted to try it and she asked me if I would give it a try for her. So I'm going to attempt to make this cake. And the way you make it, you start off with just one box of a white cake mix. And I'm going to be using the Betty Crocker Super Moist White Cake Mix. And you just follow the instructions on the back of the uh, box and make your cake exactly like that. Then we'll add the decorations to it to decorate it and make it real pretty. So let me get started first. I'm going to add my cake mix to it. And then I'm going to add, this is one half of a cup of oil. And then this is one cup of water. And next I'm going to add three eggs to it. Okay, so now I'm just going to mix this up real good. Okay, I've got that mixed up real good. And next thing I'm going to do, let me just sort of slide this to the side. I'm going to spray my 9 by 13 uh, pan. And I've already got my oven heated up. So I can put this in after I get in the pan. Okay, that looks good. So I'm going to put this in a preheated oven. Uh, this particular box calls for heating the oven to uh, 350 for metal or glass pan. But our oven tends to cook a little hot all the time. So I heat ours to 325. I'm going to get this in the oven, let it cook. When it comes out, I'm going to let it cool completely. And then I'll be back with you. Okay, the cake is finished. It's been out of the oven for about 15 minutes, just cooling down a little bit. And I'm going to move it over here. And it's still good and warm. And this is supposed to be a good time to poke the holes in it. So I'm going to go ahead and start poking holes. Okay, I tried to put all my holes about one inch apart uh, all the way across there. 
uh, as best as I could anyway. So I'm going to let this cool till it's completely cooled down before I pour the jello in. And that's probably going to take another 30 to 45 minutes. So I'll just let it sit here until it cools and then I'll mix the jello and pour it in. Okay everyone, I'm back. The cake has completely cooled down. I've got me some water boiling over here already. And on my blue jello, I'm using what's called jello berry blue. And I had to buy a six ounce package and I measured out three tablespoons in this uh, measuring cup here. Now I'm gonna do the red and for the red, I'm just using strawberry jello and I had some sugar free that was already in stock so I'm gonna use it. Uh, you do not have to use sugar free. I'm gonna go ahead and use the whole pack of this. You probably only have to use half if you're using the regular jello. It comes with a lot more in the package and so you would use more. Use your own judgment on that. Okay, let me pour up a half a cup of water. Okay, now I'll put that in the blue. Then I'll put about a half a cup in the red. Okay, and I'm going to give both of these a real good stir. Get one more spoon. Okay, I'm going to probably stir these for about two minutes, but I'll cut it, make it shorter for you. This would be a fun recipe to make if you had some grandchildren around to help you with it. Our little great-granddaughter Addison, uh, she's out of town today, so she can't help us with it today. Okay, I've got these mixed up real good. Now this is going to be the fun part. I'm going to try to put red in every other hole. And then I put blue in the other hose. And I'm going to try just a spoonful at a time to see how it works. I had debated about using a... That didn't work too good. <laughs> I had debated about using my little uh, cups that I put barbecue sauce in. And pour it in with them. So let's see how this works. I'll try again. May, okay, maybe I just need to go a little slower with it. Okay, there's still a little red jello there. I'll come back and do some more. Now I'm gonna go with the blue and do the exact same thing, just going do the opposite hose. Okay, and still got a little blue left there. I'm gonna come back with just a little more of this red in each one of the holes. Maybe just a half a spoonful.
and a little more blue. It's definitely going to be red and blue. I don't know how good it's going to look when we cut it, but it'll be red and blue. Okay, <laughs> they got it all in there. Let's hope it looks good once it comes out. Next thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna stick this in the refrigerator for about 30 minutes and just let it cool down and let that jello set just a little bit. So I'll be back with you in maybe 30 to 45 minutes. Okay, just got this cake out of the refrigerator. It's been there for 45 minutes. Hopefully it's set up real good. This has been a fun cake to make. I've actually enjoyed this. I'm glad that Marie asked me to try to make it. Uh, like I said, I just wish that I would have had uh, some little grandkids here with me to help me with it. Okay, next, I'm gonna take some Cool Whip. This is about eight ounces of Cool Whip. And I'm gonna try to spread this on top as easily as I can. And I don't know if I've ever spread Cool Whip on top of a cake before, so I'm learning as you learn. Okay, hopefully that looks good enough. Now I've got some sprinkles here that we just purchased. I've never used these before, but they have red, white, and blue stars. It's also got some blue uh, powder or little sparklers. And so uh, I think what I'm gonna do is just cut out the individual piece and then put some sprinkles on top of the individual piece. So let me get this opened up. A little hard to open there, but there it came. And as everyone knows, the first piece is always the hardest one to get out. Uh, Marie just came in here and joined me. Hey, Marie. Hi, Kevin. Huh. Uh, you going to help me do a taste test on this cake? Yeah. If I can get it out without dropping it. Okay, I got that piece out. I couldn't see it, so I don't know what it looked like. Look, look okay? Mm -hmm. Not too bad. Okay, now let me get another piece out. This piece might look a little better, Marie, and I'll let you have this piece. Does that one look any different, Marie? It looks good. Okay. Okay, let's put just a few sprinkles on it. few sprinkles on mine. Okay, so there we have it. There's our two pieces of cake.
Okay, Marie, I've got us a piece of cake cut if you want to come do a taste test for us. There's your fork. Thank you. Well, I like how it looks. And those yes. little, those little uh, stars on top. Mm -hmm. I tasted one of those a while ago mm -hmm. when we first got them. Mm -hmm. And to me, they're a little hard, so mm -hmm. they may have to soften up before you be able to chew them. You can try one, see. Yeah, they're like those little pearls on mm -hmm. wedding cakes. <laughs> yeah. Well, cake's got a good taste to it. Mm hmm It's real good. Mm, very delicious. I won't have any problems eating this at all. Mm -mm. And it's light, too. Just mm -hmm. what you need in the summer. And actually, the red strawberry jello, mm -hmm. it was sugar-free. I knew I had several packs of strawberry jello on the shelf, mm -hmm. but they were all sugar free. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so that's okay too, isn't it? Right. Well, this was just a quick look. Well, I say it's quick. It didn't take long to actually make it, but the setting it up and letting it cool and then putting it in the refrigerator, that took a while to do all that. But like I said, if you got some grandchildren you want to let work with you to do this cake, I think they'll just love doing it. And then when it comes time to eat, I think they'll love it too, don't you, mm -hmm. Marie? Yes. While Marie's in here, I'm going to let her go ahead and uh, close the video out for me. Come over to the middle, Marie. Yeah. And this is my sweetheart here. She helps me with everything. <laughs> here uh, lately, he's been helping me. <laughs> well, she, she's been having bronchitis for just a little while, but she's going to close this out for us. And I hope you enjoyed this video. If you make it and try it, let us know how it turns out. Okay, this is really light. And I really enjoyed the flavors. And um, it's not too sweet. It's just right. Okay, okay so y'all do what you love and love what you do. And we'll see you on the next video. Bye. I almost forgot it's been so long. <laughs> take me back, take me back to the old dirt road Where mama and papa used to go Let's sing all them songs from a long time ago And pine for them old days of yore Well, let me run through the breeze like the leaves on the trees Let me fly like the leaves when they fall serene like a cool water stream that runs from the mountain soul.